I've been involved with uh, previous research projects using the EK-80 where we were looking for whales in the Antarctic. It's really a very sophisticated fish finder. And so we knew if we found a krill swarm, hey, there's a bunch of food that we're, for the whales we're looking for. If we found a lot of krill, it's likely we would eventually find whales. My name is Julian Race. I am the Science and Technology Officer on the research vessel Ocean Explorer. I'd probably say to my tiny niece that uh, I'm a fancy computer guy on a research vessel in the middle of the ocean, helping scientists do their job. And this here is the acoustic gondola. The gondola, if you can think about it, is this small little area at the bottom front of the ship where we pack all of our sensors that are letting us listen and look at the seafloor. So here in the gondola, running the length of it, is our deep water multi-beam sonar. What you're going to be seeing is the contours of the seafloor. So large rocks, uh, valleys, seamounts, um, shipwrecks, basically features on the seafloor or part of the seafloor, you'll be able to identify them. It'll end up looking like a high resolution three-dimensional map. And that's really important because we can look for interesting features that might be driving things like upwelling currents, which can then drive nutrients to the surface. And then if you identify a target that is potentially causing upwelling with the local currents, you might then pick that spot and then go over it with the EK-80 and see what kind of fish are congregating in that you know, nutrient-rich water. And then our six-channel EK-80 system here. In most cases, what you're looking for is the prey of the megafauna you're looking for. Say we were looking for uh, right whales, we might be looking for krill. So we could target something about that big. Or if we're looking for tooth whales, like sperm whales, maybe we go looking for big fish that they might be eating. Then we've got our two ADCP current, me current measurement devices here. Anytime we're in an operation, we're trying to measure the ocean currents. One, that's just an important data set that we want to contribute to the global oceanographic community. The, the sub-dive team is always looking at those, those ocean currents, and that's a big, big part of their dive planning. Our 12 kilohertz sub-bottom profiler, we can use it for bottom finding, just seeing what the bottom depth is very, very accurately. But we can also use it, turn up the power a little bit, and we can see through the bottom to what the substrate is. So we can see not only the water is 1,000 meters deep, but we can see it's 1,000 meters deep with what looks like 10 meters of sand, or 10 meters of mud, or it's rock, or it's coral. So the sub-bottom profile is important because then we can tie what we found with our multi-beam, which is the contours, with then what is that contour. Different species have different habitats. So if we're looking for species that live in sand, hey, we found some sand. If we're looking for species that live in rocky outcrops, we can find that as well. And so we placed the acoustic gondola way up here in the bow of the ship, and you can see it's actually sitting quite a bit below the bottom of the ship. And so this is to isolate it from the rest of the ship, from things like ship noise, engine noise, vibrations. And it also puts it way forward of the ship because the quieter that these instruments are, the better the quality data we're gonna get out of them.